Hey everybody, John the other here, obviously. And I've just watched uh, a video called Dads React to Their Daughters Getting Caught Cat Called, which is another lame, <laughs> pathetic attempt to shame and belittle and diminish men, to make men feel ashamed of themselves, to portray the very, very stupid and fraudulent idea that women are oppressed, that they feel threatened, and so on. And I'm just going to say it right up front. There's no such thing as catcalling. It doesn't exist. Now, of course, it exists in the social context of, you know, discussions online. So it exists in the narrative, but it doesn't exist in the real world. There is no actual thing that is catcalling. It's not like guys uh, saying hi to women on the street or complimenting their butt or whatever are, are like going, I'm going to wreck somebody's day today. The, the characterization that with what we call it catcalling is a highly charged, highly emotionally charged and, and pejorative characterization of uh, an attempt at social interaction initiated by a man. That's what it actually is. And that's a big, long mouthful of words. So it's easier to just say catcalling. But catcalling has all this emotional baggage attached to it, which isn't real in the real world. The guy who says you know, hey baby, nice legs, or how you doing, or you look good today, or uh, whatever. Hey, can I get your number? All that stuff that gets referred to by catcalling is simply guys, men, attempting to initiate social contacts with women. But if we talk about it like that, using that sort of neutral and descriptive language, men attempting to initiate social contacts, it's revealed that this entire so-called catcalling phenomenon is a massive demonstration of female power. Who is, if, if men don't attempt to initiate social contacts, uh, there won't be any social contact between men and women because women don't initiate. Men must initiate social contacts because women don't want to. Not that they can't, not that there's anybody stopping them. It's not like there's a, a patriarchy holding them down. They choose not to because by being the person who just does nothing and waits for somebody to bring an attempt at social contact to you, as a woman, you retain the power of plausible deniability. You re get to pretend that, oh, you ne I never asked for that, I didn't want it, and of course you did. You just, maybe not from that guy, because he didn't look like he was sharp enough dressed or didn't have enough money or he wasn't socially suave, right? But if Brad Pitt rolls up and says, hey, how are you doing? You're going to jump right in his car and off off to have an adventure in Brad's bedroom. So it is up to men to initiate and to put themselves out there and be rejected uh, until somebody, until they can get smooth or they can come up with an approach that's positive, that's well received. Women don't have to do that. That's a huge, huge social power. And so the negative, the failed attempts, the guys who try to initiate a social contact and fail, the woman goes, eh or ignores him, or, or pretends, I'm scared, and then initiates violence through proxy against that guy. This is massive social power. So the fact that there is even a thing that we call catcalling, men attempting to initiate contacts with women, is female privilege up the wazoo. <laughs> so the, the, the negative character is that this is this patriarchal oppression of women. Fucking nonsense. Baloney. Complete bunk. So I'm just getting a coffee. I didn't want anybody to talk to me. Of course you did. Of course you did. Because you're not a, a non-social creature as a woman. You just have the power to have someone else take all the risk all the time. And the ones that you didn't want to talk to, you have the power to say no to them. <laughs> Catcalling's not a real thing. Except as a demonstration of female power in the, the social playground. Thanks very much for watching and have a lovely day. So the user Ruth Peleg uh, posted a comment on my last video, uh, the one observing the reality that slutwalks are in fact hate rallies. Uh, Ruth Peleg said, If you want anyone to take seriously your claim that slutwalks are hate rallies, you need to give arguments explaining why it is a hate rally and typical quotes of things said by public speakers and signs held up in slutwalks that demonstrate what you are claiming. This, my video, it's uncharacteristically lame of you to just put this claim up that slut walks are hate rallies without any evidence or explanation. Disappointed. <laughs> well, Ruth, kiss my ass. Now, I've been arguing men's issues, formerly as a MRA guy, now as a MGTOW, for many years. 
and there has never been um, a rebuttal on the on the oppositional side, a rejoiner based on evidence, based on facts, based on research or statistics or you know any reasonable logical argument. The oppositional rhetoric from the blue pill side, from the feminist side, is always histrionic, accusatory, and uh, nonsense. Uh, look at sort of what they say about Christina Hoff Summers. She is routinely denounced as a rape apologist. Uh, so, so am I, by the way. But a rape apologist, for those who don't know what the word apologist means, feminists pay attention now because you can learn a new word. Apologist means somebody who used reason and evidence in support of something. So a Christian apologist would be somebody who uses rational argument uh, and evidence in support of Christianity. A rape apologist is somebody who tries to use reason and evidence or rational argument and logic in support of the crime, the violent crime of rape. Well, Christina Hoff Summers is no such thing, or for that matter, neither am I. But that's the accusation, and it's an accusation thrown in response to the reasoned arguments, you know, from the men's rights, MGTOW, man, you know, uh, rationalist side of this discourse. As Ruth is demanding I dig down and provide a whole bunch of citation and evidence. Kiss my ass, Ruth. I don't need to. In fact, what I'm observing about slut rallies, slut walks, hate rallies, isn't a radical idea. It's not like anybody's, oh, wow, that's a new way of looking at it. No, everybody knows the hate rallies. Uh, the signage that says, teach men to not rape, as if from the base assumption that without some kind of special education, men are by default uh, rapist violent criminals. Give me a fucking break. Give me a break. And you think, you imagine, that you are deserving of a detailed explanation. Well, I can see that you might think a detailed explanation or evidence would be worthwhile if, if I was an activist trying to persuade sort of the government or the courts to change their policies, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just talking to other men uh, and giving them my insights. So, Roos, th thanks very much for your comment, and um, once more, kiss my ass. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a lovely day.